Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for November 1st, 2017. Yes, yes, yes. 61 days and counting. And then we're going to be talking about Happy New Year. Okay, so I wanted to come to you this morning and talk about something that I am constantly working on. Constantly working on this thing right here this this thing called this mouth um communication and how we communicate the style that we communicate with makes all the difference in the world or not and this is what i'm talking about if the whole point i think i entitled this um what's your point when we speak to someone good morning for all who are joining me when we speak to someone and the point is to impact them, to get them to hear and hear what we are talking about, then we need to watch what we're saying and how we say it. Because if your point, what's the point? If your point is, well, I just had to get it off my chest. Okay, well then you could probably go do that, get some piece of paper and write it out. Cuss and fuss and scream and shout all you want on paper. You can do that on your solo commute driving. You can ha you can be a raging maniac and say it just how you feel like saying it by yourself. You can go to a mirror. I'm pointing over there because I got a mirror right there. You can go to the mirror and get all of it out. In, I mean, no filters, no cleanup jobs needed. If, if your point is to, I just had to get it off my chest, you have several ways to do that. However... Good morning, Dr. Stephanie. However, if your point is to get someone to hear you and hear you, good morning, Donnie. If your point is to make a difference, hey, Tanya, make a difference in somebody's life to get them to see a different perspective. Is it, if it's important enough for you to open your mouth and say it, then it's important enough for you to double think how you say it. For an example, I am by nature, just my, my natural personality, Tanya, I can hear you saying that right now. <laughs> my natural inclination is like a bull in a china shop. I see the end goal and guess what? It's like in the movies, everything, you know, is foggy out here and it becomes blurry because I have a soul focus. I am headed straight to that. And in the meantime, please don't get in my way. Because then when I bump you and you throw me off, then I'll turn around and say, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even see you back there. Yikes. And, that, and I am being honest. I am solely focused on reaching the end goal. That's my natural inclination. What I have ex access to is the fact to slow your little roll, Holly. There are people in this, in this pathway you got going. And so stop being a bull in a china shop and running over people and just doing your own thing and... and soul focus because I want to make a difference in lives so that means I have to slow down and think about the person I'm speaking to I already know just like you you already know that some people are more sensitive than you are that doesn't make them weak or like a whiny person or a crybaby it is who they are so if I want to get to them if I want them to hear me and hear me then I need to watch what comes out of this mouth. Not that I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it in a way that they can receive it. Okay? I ain't trying to get it off my chest. I'm trying to get you to hear me. So that means I need to speak in a language that you can hear. Okay? Your language, I'm going to soften that up. I didn't say I was going to take out all the meat. I'm just going, I'm going to spice it up. I'm going to cook it up in a way that you can receive it. If I already know you take 24 hours to think about every decision, then I'm not going to be over here rushing you because you are designed to slow down and think through things and anticipate and walk through and meander. That's who you are. So I have to recognize that and bring it to you in a way that's not going to just throw you off balance because I'm over here rushing you. Okay. If I know that you're like me and don't take a whole lot of time, you're wasting my time, Holly. Can you get to the bottom line? Okay. 
a man and woman after my own heart. I don't even have to double think on that. I'm just going to bring it to you because I know you don't like wasting time. I don't have to come in and say, how was your day? Girl, did you have a good weekend? Oh my goodness. How are they? Okay. For you, it doesn't take all that. And so I'm saying, thank you for all who are joining, joining me. So what I'm saying to you is, what's your point? If you want to make an impact, if you want someone to hear you, if you want someone to receive what you're saying, feed it to them in a way that they can digest it. Good morning, Chelsea. Klesha. Did I mess that up? Klesha? I'm sorry. Let me stick with Shelly. How about that? Good morning, Shelly. So, so we have to serve it in a way that is appetizing to them. And again, if, if we all have access to those other methods of communication, our natural reaction might just be to go straight bull, straight gorilla on somebody. I am a very strong ENTJ for those who know that Myers-Briggs language, but I have access to other ways to communicate. So what's your point? What's your point? You want somebody to hear you? Thank you, Shelly, <laughs> since I messed it up. Do you want them to hear you? Do you want them to hear your heart? Okay, then you need to access those other skills that we have access to. Even if, well, that takes too long. Watch, okay, what's your point? Are you trying to get them to listen to you? Then you have to speak to them, speak to them in a way that they can hear you, in a way that they can receive you. So my challenge today on this first day of November, as we count down the remaining 61 days of 2017, is practice that. I'm challenging you to speak to someone today in a way that they can hear you, in a way that they can receive you, especially if that's not your natural language. If you got to dig, if you got to slow your roll and think through, okay, let me see how, okay, she always wants to know about how I'm doing and how my kids doing. Okay, I really got a question for her, but I'm going to slow down and ask, answer all those things. I'm going to let her know how everybody's doing. Okay, because that is the way that she or he needs to hear you and receive you. What's your point? If you just want to rant and rave, go find a mirror, go get some paper and write it down. If you want to make an impact, give it to them in a way that they can receive it. All righty. 61 days and counting, make it count. And until next time, take real good care of yourselves.